In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a snowman. Hey, welcome back to my channel, Unique World. And if you are new, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's get started. And as you can see, it is very hard for me to take off this sticker, but no worries, forget about it. Now I'm just going to clean off the glass that I got from Dollar Tree with some rubbing alcohol. And I got four because I'm doing two snowman um, light up glows, whatever you want to call it. And if you're lucky enough, you can get some Mod Podge from Dollar Tree as well. But if not, you can go to your local Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, anywhere like that. And you can get um, Mod Podge from there. And I'm just using my sponge brush and I am just wiping or painting the um, glass, the inside of the glass with the Mod Podge. Um, and you have to work very, very quickly because um, the Mod Podge will dry very fast. So I got some Fox Snow from Dollar Tree as well. And it works really good. And I'm just going to pour that inside the um, glass vase. Um, and I'm just going to shake it around. Make sure that the um, glass is fully covered with the Fox Snow. And I'm just taking my time with it and just making sure that it is fully covered. And it is kind of taking a while to, um, you know, get the snow all throughout the glass. Right here, I'm just using my vinyl. Um, I used the Cricut to um, cut out some snowman faces that I got from Google and I am just putting it together and I'm just going to put some transfer tape over the snowman face and I'm going to um, just kind of line it up to make sure that it looks um, nice. If you don't have a Cricut to cut out the image of the snowman face, you can um, also use some acrylic paint and paint the snowman face onto the um, glass. And all you really need is some black and orange paint. So yes, definitely take your time if you're using vinyl, just to make sure that your vinyl is stuck on the glass nice and smoothly because you don't want any bubbles or um, creases uh, within your vinyl. And yes, all the materials that I am using for this tutorial all came from Dollar Tree, except for the um, vinyl. The vinyl I got from Amazon. And also, um, I did add a little glitter, white glitter, to the um, vase as well. But that came from Michaels. And um, later on in the video, I'll show you exactly which glitter I used to add to the um, Fox Snow.
I'm just going to add the three dots to place on another glass as um, buttons for the snowman. And here's what the glass look like, the one that I did first. And I'm just going to place the dots on the, this part of the snowman. Also, this is optional. I'm using the Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss Spray um, that helps the false snow and uh, the glitter stay stuck onto the glass. And this is the um, glitter that I was telling you about that I got from Michaels. And it's just some white glitter. And what I'm doing now, which um, I didn't do uh, on the first glass, is to make sure that I just use some of the Mod Podge um, little at a time. And I realized that, you know, um, I'm able to get more uh, on the glass than just, you know, covering the whole entire glass at one time with Mod Podge. But if you do little by little, um, it can help the um, process to make sure that the um, Fox Snow stay you know, stuck on the glass um, better than just doing the full glass with my Podge. And here is what all four glass should look like um, after you Mod Podge and put the glitter and uh, the snow fox, fox snow um, inside the glass and also when you spray it down with the clear gloss. Now I'm just going to get my LED lights and I am going to place them inside of the snow globe or vase. Um, and this is what it looks like when you put the batteries inside and uh, stick it inside the snow globe. And um, yes, this also come from Dollar Tree for just a dollar. And um, it didn't come with any batteries, so you have to buy batteries.
And here is what the back of the snowman should look like. And it's just going to be a string hanging from the back. So that way you can uh, turn it off and on because you're going to glue the top and the bottom of the glasses together. It's time to glue and I'm using like three different kinds of glue because I'm not sure how the snowman and the vases are going to stick together but actually it came out really good and it's still firm and no problem at all hasn't fallen apart at all so I just use um you know the hot glue the E6000 glue and some fusion liquid glue Okay, yes, do not laugh at me. I am going to cut this just like um, you would do like a toothpaste that, you know, doesn't have much in it. I'm just going to cut it apart and I'm going to use the glue um, and just, you know, put it around the rim of the glass. Um, and then I'm just going to pretty much use uh, all three of the glues and, you know, just put it around the rim of the glass just to make sure that the glass are stuck together permanently. Now that I pressed down the glass together, I'm just going to use some ribbon. I'm using a red and black um, plaid ribbon that I also got from Dollar Tree. And I'm just measuring it to see how much I need because I really don't know how much I need. But I'm just uh, measuring around one of the glass vases just to see the exact amount that I need. And then I'm just going to wrap it around the neck of the snowman to make it seem like a scarf and it also hides any you know glue that you have um going around the neck the top and the bottom of the glass vases Okay, and I'm going to use this hat ornament that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And I am going to place it on top of the snowman's head as a snowman hat. And now I'm just going to repeat the process.
we are done. It looks cute when it's lit up and it looks cute when it's not lit up. And I really like the outcome of it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And let me know if you are wanting to, you know, give it a try. Now I have to figure out exactly where I would like to put them. I'm thinking I'm going to put them on the shelf below my TV. But if you have any suggestions on where you would think it would look nice. Um, because I'm also thinking about putting it on top of my fireplace as well. But I'm not exactly sure. But we shall see. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss another DIY video from me, Unique Girl. Until next time, peace.